Hi everyone, I'm Eric and welcome to EA I Don't Give a Fuck, let's start this shit right now! So today I'm reviewing Star Fox Zero. It's a great game, but uh, some of the stuff like the controls are like... Yeah... You'll see. So sit down and enjoy. So the story of Star Fox Zero is pretty much the same as the one on the Nintendo 64 for Star Fox 64. Basically, Andros wants to take the universe and he, Andros kills Fox, McLeod's father. Fox and his team, Falco, Peppy and Sleepy, are sent by General Pepper to stop Andros. This game is a 3D scrolling shooter video game. Basically, you have two different kind of modes in this game. You have your scroll mode that you're always going forward like on a rail and shoot at bad guys. And sometimes it's all range mode, so it is more like a, a little bit of a open field and you shoot enemies all around you. It all depends on the, all the missions. It could be like for bosses or some sort of objectives that you need to achieve in, in the game. So you have four types of vehicle. Well, you get sometimes the same vehicle that can transform itself, so I'm, I'm going to tell about it. Uh, the R-Wing is the one that you always see. Uh, this sort of spaceship that uh, Fox and his friends uh, use and to fly and shoot bombs or laser that you can upgrade and you can also upgrade your R-Wing by getting all the rings in that level so you'll have more health for your R-Wing and your R-Wing can transform into the walker it looks like a fucking chicken uh, or some sort of bird and you can walk around and shoot at enemies too and kind of glide a little bit in the air and you also have the land master looks like a tank and you can also transform the land master a little bit to fly for a certain amount of time and also you have a drone like helicopter so with this drone you can fly some places and you can drop a little robot and this little robot will hack computers system so that will uh, activate or disactivate something in the, in the mission that you need to go to continue forward in that level. First time you play that the controls feels a little bit weird because you control your R-Wing with the gamepad and sometimes you have to look in your gamepad where you're aiming at to control the aim of your R-Wing and shooting at enemies so sometimes you you don't have to, you need to focus on the gamepad instead of the TV, and that could be confusing. Like if, like if old school people want to use the R ring, like back in the days, with just the uh, controllers on the remote and look at the TV. Well, sometimes at the beginning of the game, they force you to use the gamepad view, and I don't like it. They should have an option that you can use just the R wing, like back in the days on the TV. Or use the game the, the, the gamepad view it should be an option in that video game also the bosses are really fun like the one on the Nintendo 64 all the different levels are kind of similar as the one on Nintendo 64 plus you have like new design and it's full HD everything looks better now and bigger there's a lot of different gameplay because of all the different uh, vehicles that you can use in that game and that's great uh, I like the drone that they implemented in that game it's awesome to control and easy to use same thing with the chicken because some sometimes you can switch from your R-Wing to your chicken and like the uh, Nintendo 64 there's secret path that you can find so you can discover new levels new planets and all the bad guys some of the, well, some of the bad guys you'll see are all you all saw them before in the, the original Nintendo 64 Star Fox 64 game. The problem is uh, it's a really short game. You can finish that in like under five hours for sure. It's really similar as the one the 64. It's just the only thing that they kind of screw up in that one is the controls. How the how do you have to use your R wing? There's no multiplayer in that game, and that's why I'm a little bit upset about it there's no like four split screen the only thing you can do with somebody else it's playing the co-op campaign 
this is basically one person is controlling the R wing with a rem with a with a remote, and the other control the view of the R wing, like the aiming and the shooting, with the gamepad view. So one is looking at the TV screen and the other one is looking at your gamepad and the person with the gamepad sometimes control well he control the camera view so sometimes it could be confusing with the other person try to control the R wing somewhere else while the other guy is just looking another way so the camera is it's not even good it's not really good it could be like really confusing so that's why the controls are not very tight and good for that type of game so yeah Star Fox Zero it looks like they try to do new things with the Wii U. In my point of view, they should have left that shit alone. They should have like the option to choose if you want the R-Wing cockpit view available or not. And they should not force you to use the gamepad and the cockpit view to aim at stuff and uh, shoot at enemies. But in general, it's a pretty good game. Uh, you'll have tons of fun. This game is a it's a classic, and you'll see some of the stuff that are similar from the original Star Fox 64. So just wait, don't buy it right away because it's full price. There's also another game coming with it. It's like a tower defense game. I, I haven't played yet. But it looks pretty fun. Try to defend your base from those robots that are trying to come inside of your base. It looks pretty fun, uh, but I haven't tried it yet. Star Fox Zero is good. Go fucking buy it. Not now. In a couple months later. Yes. Go buy it, but not now. So, for all of those good reasons, that's why I'm giving Star Fox Zero a note of 8 out of 10. Uh, yeah, the multiplayer is not there. Uh, you have a co-op campaign, but like I said, uh, it's pretty shitty. Just one guy's controlling the R-Wing and the other guy is just controlling the aiming and the shooting of the R-Wing. So there's no like back on the Nintendo 64, like the four split screen so you can attack, like fight each other in a, in a match. There's not none of that, so that that pretty like sucks. That's why my notes was a little bit low uh, for that. But it's a great game if you like the Star Fox games, and with this you'll discover like new gameplays that they implemented in the game. But it's the same story, and is th that game is really short. Uh, don't pay again the full price for it. I'm sure it's gonna drop a little bit later. That's why I'm giving that game 8 out of 10. So yeah, don't forget to like my Facebook page, Twitter account, Instagram. Uh, don't forget to share it, that video, uh, comment below. And we will see you again in another crazy video.